Hey, what's going on guys? Joltz here, back with another item guide, and today we're going over the legendary Devil's Foursome. To get this gun, you'll want to farm the Psycho Billies over at Ambermire. Now, there's going to be four enemies named Billy you can kill, and the one you want to farm is the Billy whose name ends in Y. Anyways, let's head over and get the gun. Okay, so what you want to do is head to Ambermire at Eden 6, and we're going to be heading to the challenge enemies right over here. You can see we have uh, the Psycho Billies. And now, there is a safe station over here, so I'm going to head over to that real fast. That'll make it to where we can get there a little bit faster after save quitting. There's the save station so that you can spawn here when you save quit. And it's a little bit faster than running from here to here than, you know, here to here. You can see you just spawn in, you run over here, you fall down, uh, you jump in a cave. And what we're going to do is kill Billy, ending in a Y. Uh, she is the one that drops the Devil's Foursome. So she's going to be on the left side of the cave every time you enter. The first run, we did not get it, so I'm going to go ahead and keep farming. Oh, that might be it. Uh, double check. Yep, there it is. Alright, so let me clear out the enemies and we'll check it out. The Devil's Foursome. Damage, very high. Accuracy, good. Handling, mid-tier. Reload time, good. Fire rate, slow. And mag size, 5. Red text is, I love it when a plan comes together. Bonus, weapon fire rate and splash damage radius. And this one is anointed, but we're not going to worry about that for the testing. Also, this gun can come in all the different elements. Alright, the gun looks pretty good. It's your typical Torg Magnum look with a black and yellow theme. It looks very clean, and yeah, I like it. So this gun, when you shoot it, it's going to spread out and then come back in. So it has a very unique bullet pattern, and yeah, it's going to take some practice to get that sweet spot just right. Also, it does have splash damage, so if you're a little bit off, it can still hit. There is also a really good way to use it um, if you don't want to rely on getting that sweet spot. And we'll show that in just a second. I also want to mention that, yeah, you got to be careful when you're close range because you can see it does do self damage. So I did a little more farming and got myself a shock one. And now if you combine a shock one with a transformer or a radiation one with a red suit shield, you can actually avoid the self damage from the element. That's going to allow you to get much more out of this gun. So you can see here with the transformer, if I shoot the floor, no damage. And yeah, if I had the radiation one on a red suit, it would be no damage too. The cool thing about the shock one is you can also regen your shield too. Okay, so we're on Mayhem 4 and the modifiers are neutral. And before we do the cheese strat, let's go ahead and show it the way it was intended, I guess. Uh, so you gotta get the right distance and yeah, get all the pellets to hit together like that. And it's really hard to mob when enemies are chasing you too, because you have to back up and you know get that distance. So yeah, you can use the gun this way where you get the right distance and hit the enemy perfectly, but it's not very practical when enemies are moving around and you know giving you a hard time. So to get the most out of it, put on a transformer and a chalk one and shoot the floor. You can get right up in the enemy's face and keep your shield full. And at the same time, you're already doing great damage. Okay, dead. Yeah, it's a pretty crazy combo because you're just never going to die. And at the same time, you're doing great damage and hitting every pellet too. Yeah, look at my shield right now. It just goes right back up. And now at this point in time, there's no shield that fully resists cryo, uh, corrosive, and fire. Only shock and radiation. All right. Final thoughts on the Devil's Foursome. It's not bad, but it's very situational. Now, without the combo with your shield, this weapon is very hard to use. Enemies move around and never stay still, and it makes it really hard to hit all three pellets on them. When you do happen to hit all three pellets, yeah, this weapon's great. Also, I'm not really a fan of using that cheese strat to, you know, not take damage with your shield, but it is one of many ways to use it. Overall, it's a good gun, and I would recommend you guys pick it up and try it for yourself. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and of course, if you did, then please be sure to leave a like, because that'd be awesome. And if you guys really enjoyed it, be sure to sub. You guys have a great day, and I will see you all later. Peace out.